Well, Aaron, we'll take it back to Friday. That's when both a staff member and a resident tested positive for COVID-19 during their regular surveillance testing. These 34 cases marks the largest outbreak we've seen at a nursing home here on the Central Coast. So the potential for fatalities in that outbreak is significant. Throughout the pandemic, nursing facilities have suffered some of the fiercest outbreaks. In California alone, more than 25,000 residents and 19,000 health workers have contracted the virus, and 4,500 of those patients have died. Santa Cruz County nursing facilities have mostly been spared by eliminating visitors and conducting regular surveillance testing for staff and residents. Although the cluster at Watsonville Post Acute hasn't been tracked to a single person, it's likely patient zero is a staff member. There were no relaxed uh, policies at Watsonville Post Acute. Um, from everything we've seen, they were doing everything possible to prevent this kind of outbreak. The facility says residents who tested positive are in isolation, while the employees who tested positive are at home in quarantine. This outbreak comes as cases are rising in Santa Cruz County, largely tracked to Labor Day weekend and mixing of households from fire evacuations. We're in such a concerning place right now. Our, our epidemic curve is going up dramatically. We're one of the worst performing counties in California right now. Back at Post Acute Center, no non-essential visitors have been allowed inside during the pandemic. The health officer recently relaxed visitation restrictions, allowing pre-planned family visits only if a facility has no new COVID cases in two weeks, no staff shortages, and has adequate testing and protective equipment. Watsonville Post Acute Center and their sister facility, which is next door, and both of those are closed to new admissions and will not be discharging patients either. Tonight, we can report three residents are in the hospital. Everyone else here at the facility is isolated. We're live in Watsonville tonight. I'm Drew Andre, KIO News, Channel 546.